everybody, what's going on? It's Mackenzie Chriswell here. Welcome back to another new video. Uh, if you are coming here from one of my previous videos uh, about Plex, either the one uh, for backing up the server on PC or on Mac, uh, welcome, and we'll be getting right to how to interchange the two. But before we go ahead and do that, I did want to say, uh, if you are not coming here from one of those two videos, uh, please look at the cards in the upper left hand of the video uh, they should both should be appearing within you know probably about 30 seconds uh, you might want to check out at least one of those two videos uh, just simply for context as to what it is that we're trying to accomplish uh, in this video that being said uh, let's go ahead and get started with a disclaimer um, moving from Mac to PC is not a seamless move when it comes to backing up your Plex library. Um, part of that, as you'll understand if you're coming from one of my videos, is that when you back up um, a Plex server, there are basically three things you need. You need the movies and videos and photos or music that you're backing up as part of your Plex library, and then you need two different sets of Plex metadata files. One is just thumbnails and uh, metadata, descriptions, summaries, titles, everything under that category, and the other are advanced server-specific settings um, that, frankly, I don't really understand. And it, when you go through the process of backing up, you'll notice that on PC or Mac, that first set of metadata files, the thumbnails and the descriptions and everything, it's just a folder structure. You grab it, you copy it to a hard drive or a flash drive, and you're good to go. But when it comes to that second set of advanced files, it gets a little hairy on Mac. You're backing up a preference list file, uh, you know, or a plist file um, to to then move to another Mac. And on uh, on PC, you're actually going into the registry and backing up registry data to then restore later. Um, so as far as those extra advanced settings goes, we can't copy those between the two systems. As, as far as I can tell, I've looked into it uh, and I can't find a way to make that happen. So when it comes to moving from PC to Mac or to Mac to PC, uh, the process is just going to be a little different and and it won't be quite as complete but that being said we can go ahead and get started it's actually really easy all you want to do is go ahead and open up a browser of your choice i'm using chrome i'll go ahead and go to plex.tv and uh, assuming that you're moving from one platform to the other you've already set up a plex server and everything so i don't need to guide you through this too much just go ahead and come over to downloads and download the latest version of the uh Plex media server for your uh, platform. Uh, in this case, I am on a PC and I'm moving my Mac library from uh, OS X to, or Mac OS, uh, from OS X to PC, uh, in this case, Windows 7. And uh, you just want to go ahead and download that media server. Uh, once that's done, what we want to go ahead and do is just set up and install this server like we would if we were just setting everything up from scratch. We'll go ahead and hit install say yes to our messages and let Plex install. Once it's installed, we actually don't want to launch the app or anything. We're just going to hit exit here. We don't re the, the reason for that is because we don't want Plex to do anything but set up the initial like folder structures it needs to run so that we can then replace them with other things. Uh, and if I go ahead and navigate to my hard drive here, I do have my backups, my backup files uh, that I can go ahead and copy. And this is the metadata folder. Uh, you've got the media there. You've got crash reports, thumbnails, updates, plugins, all that kind of stuff. Go ahead and just control C is what I'm using to copy. And then on PC, you will go to um, app data. Uh, also, as to where to specifically install these, this folder, uh, one, you can look at the description and find a link to the official like Plex guide that will give you the directories, or I'll also list, list the directories in the uh, description below, but if you have watched either of the two videos that I mentioned earlier from the cards, you'll have the context necessary to already know what you're doing here. Uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and come to the app data, local app data. 
here in Plex, we'll have a few of the files. We'll have codecs, crash reports, logs, that kind of stuff. Um, and the reason for that is because we've yet to install anything on the server itself. So we'll go ahead and just paste in our new or our old uh, backup files and allow them to go ahead and copy my. I have a relatively, uh, well, not a huge uh, metadata cache, but uh, a little bit of stuff to copy. So I'm just going to give this a second to let it do its thing. Then, of course, we can go ahead and close all of this and fire up Plex. And now Plex is going to want you to go ahead and sign in with your account. Um, don't know what else you would sign in with. And your server should be found almost immediately since you've gone ahead and set everything up. Uh, and this is actually incredibly accurate. I remember this is an older backup, so it doesn't remember everything that I have had in my library, but pretty much damn near everything. Wow, okay. Uh, and as you know with Plex, when things are first getting set up, the best idea is to just let things sit here for a few minutes, let the metadata roll in and everything, and, and then edit what has been improperly matched or, uh, you know, whatever the issue may be. Uh, but your server is here. All your TV shows with the proper uh, metadata are here. Everything is good to go. Uh, one thing you may have to do, depending on... Uh, you know, when you're switching from Mac to PC, you might have to come uh, and click edit on like your individual films or TV, sh TV show folders and go ahead and browse for like the specific folder where you have things stored. Uh, sometimes that can be an issue, but as long as things are stored in relatively the same place between the two computers, I really haven't had much of a problem. Uh, so let's see, we'll save that and then you'll you'll see it processing more of your newer films and it might even try to delete some of the older ones that it had the incorrect information on uh, but just let this thing sync and it will be matching metadata to individual movies and everything and uh, that's about it it's a fairly simple process I guess it could be a lot more complicated so thanks to Plex for making switching between the two platforms pretty easy uh, if you like the video Feel free to let that be known by liking below, or if your feelings are more complicated, by leaving a comment. Uh, you can, of course, check out any other thing else on my YouTube channel, uh, or go to my website, macc.co. There will be a card. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.